What's going on today, Internet? Selfish here with Retrospect. As I sit here and shoot my video for the RG35XXH, I'm realizing that there is a lot of questions out there about retro achievements now that these devices have Wi-Fi and nobody can figure out how to set it up within RetroArch. And that's a visibility problem. But don't worry, we're going to get those retro achievements set up for you today because me and my fellow nerds need to score. Follow along. I've been watching this retro achievement question fester here for about a month now since the RG35 XX Plus came out and nobody knows how to set it up. So I went ahead and I wrote up a quick tutorial for you. I threw it down in my thingamabob. Just go down there. It's a step-by-step -step guide if you don't want to watch me talk. You can just pause this video. You can read it down there. Otherwise, I'm going to walk you through it right here on the screen. Pretty simple. Going to be a really quick video for you today. Should we go over some of the benefits of retro achievements? Really, the biggest one is being able to track your progress within games across multiple platforms. And you can also just from your device yourself track individual games but it's always nice getting those little trophies and things popping up on your screen there are challenges monthly weekly and what have not on the retro achievement website that you can go and look at i find this is a benefit as there are games out there that i've obviously never played before and sometimes they're pretty random what's in there in the retro achievement challenges so it forces me to go outside of my bubble and try to play games that i normally wouldn't not to say that i play all of them it's just it gives me a reference point of somewhere else to look to see what other people are saying and things like that they do have a pretty good message board on there too but that aside most people just want the retro achievements to work. And with having Wi-Fi on these, there really is no other reason to have Wi-Fi besides scraping box art. Because Ambernix's operating system on their newer devices with Wi-Fi still does not allow for over-the-air updates. In fact, the last update we did for the 35XX Plus was 64 gigs of a whole bunch of empty file folders. It was crazy! But here we go. We're going to run through this here real quick. Now, I have it set up on my H now because I set it up while I was doing my review video here, but I'm going to do it here on my 35XX Plus because I have not set it up on here yet. So here from your home screen, if you want to follow along, pick up your device. All right, you got it. Okay, you're going to set down your coffee for this. I need like three minutes of your time, and then you can go back to drinking your coffee because you're going to need two hands. Well, you probably only need one hand, but you know, sometimes it's easier with two. Okay, here from your home screen, you're going to go over to settings. You're going to open that up. You're going to scroll down to RetroArch settings. We'll open that up. Where it says start RetroArch, open that up going to ask you yes or no do you want to start retroarch uh of course i do otherwise i wouldn't have hit the last three buttons that got me here thanks for asking again now when you're in retroarch i'm going to give you one hint if you've changed the way your interface looks i would switch back to this interface because you cannot read half of what's on the other interfaces and so it's really going to screw you up when you if you do you're not going to know what you're clicking on half the time and especially for this tutorial you're going to want to switch it back to this so I'll give you a second. If you've switched it before, go switch it back now. <laughs> Let me know when you're done. <laughs> Good? Okay. So now we're all in the same spot. We're right here on the main menu here in RetroArch. Now, we just need to scroll to the left here. Go down to Settings. Under Settings, the same place that you just changed your user interface, we're going to go right back in there. Hit A. Once it's highlighted... All right. Now that we have this open, we're going to go into the main item visibility. These are going to be the big things that you can see within your menus, such as your your quick resume menus and things like that, your quick menus. Now under here, you're going to go down one to settings. And you're going to scroll down to show achievements. Once you have show achievements, hit A. Now show achievements is on. Now we're going to back back out to the settings here. And now you see that achievements has been added to the settings frame. And click on that. Highlight and click on that. So now it's off, but it is visible, right? So now we're just going to turn it on. We're going to come down here. We're going to put in our username and password. Now, sometimes for some reason on some devices, you can't actually read these arrows on the right hand side. Don't worry that much about it. Uh, just know it's the second one down on every device you do. And then our password. I don't trust my mama with my password. I'm not going to put it up on the screen and then hit that enter button. Now, some things that I would recommend personally, uh, turn hardcore mode off unless you're a bad mama jamma because hardcore will take off things like save states, which is probably the most used feature in RetroArch. But it also takes off fast forwards, rewinds, pauses, stuff like that. Now down here, you can enable or disable your leaderboards. And this will give you leaderboards amongst your friends or whatever challenges you're doing. You do have the challenge indications on easier to go to the website if you want to hear sound when you unlock it you can do that some people for whatever reason want to take an automatic screenshot when that award pops up so you can see what you were doing when you want it that's a possibility too after this we're just going to back out and we're going to go back to the main menu and we're going to go down to configuration file and we're going to go save current configuration 
once that's complete, we're just going to go back here to the main menu, backed out one, and we're just going to go quit retro arc. And that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So now retro arc does show up in your quick menus. So, for instance, if you're in your quick menu when you're in a game and you hit pause, you can go down here. You can see what achievements you still have to do, which ones you've already done. So you have an option right here, right in your quick menu to be able to do this. Now, as you can see, my quick menu is a little bit longer than yours probably is. And that's because I've made some other things visible. And you do have those options in the exact same menu where we enabled retro art. You can actually enable some other things as well for visibility. They're always there. They're just running in the background. But this will get retro art working for you. And it will save when you close. So I hope you have a good time out there hunting those trophies. And I hope this was informational. And you guys have a great day. I appreciate it. If you have any other questions for any other information like this or anything with what I just presented, or if you want me to do something on another topic in a quick video tutorial for you, let me know down there in my thingabob. Otherwise, if you like this video, give it a like. If you hated this video, I need some encouragement. So give it a like and then comment, rate, and subscribe. Or don't. Don't subscribe. I don't know. I still want the comments though. That those help me kind of figure everything out and figure out what to make for future content. So I do appreciate those. And share this video with your friends because sharing helps grow the channel. And my wife tells me I'm more of a grower than a shower and I can use all the help that I can get. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down in the comment section below and I can definitely put some together. Also, there's a subscribe button floating around on here. You don't have to hit it, but it'd be cool if you did. I still think you're cool either way, though. Also, YouTube put up a couple videos here on the screen that they think you might like. And you know what? I tend to agree with YouTube. So why don't you take a look if you're bored or, or don't. But either way, that's all I got for you today. I'm out.